Welcome to Olds Mob 455, working on an air compressor today. Made a couple of videos on this compressor a couple of years ago. We put a loader switch on it. We're getting ready to move this compressor to a different location and got an issue going on here. I'll show you what's happening. I think the problem is this one way check valve. Here's a new one I got. I think it was like 10 bucks. Maybe some crap stuck in there keeping this valve coming back up. The air is only supposed to go from the compressor into the tank. It gets trapped in the tank after that valve. That line you see unloads the pressure with this uh, unloader switch. I'm thinking it should not be leaking at this point because this valve should be shut. So I'm going to toss this in. We'll see if it makes a difference. I just released all the air out of the tank down there. Took this top line off. I might have to get a new one because that new valve looks a little shorter. I like to bring you guys action shots, but this stuff might be a little bit on the dry side. The whole point of this unloader valve is so there is an air trapped in this compressor and makes for easier motor starts. At least that's my understanding. Still smoking. I had to heat the living crap out of it with a propane torch to get that to come undone. That's with a pretty long half inch bar. This new guy is quite a bit shorter. I hope that copper hose reaches, otherwise I'll have to get another one. Well, I got her on there. I've already measured this tubing. It's half inch copper tubing. I suspect I'm gonna have issues with it. But we'll fire this thing up and See what happens. Close this. Well, looks like that fixed it. We'll let it get the full pressure once and see if uh, she still holds. Probably took somewhere in the neighborhood of eight minutes for that compressor to fill up that tank from scratch. It's kind of a small pump on here. This thing is going to mainly be used for filling up tires. It really isn't big enough to run any air tools off of. This guy here looks like it's got a bunch of gummed up, probably a compressor oil blow-by in it. I wonder if a guy could clean that out. I'd just as soon put a new one in it and be done with it. I'll probably get a new chunk of tubing to put on here and some compression sleeves. I don't like how this thing is kind of tweaked like that. Other than that, she's good to go. In the backdrop here, we got my South Bend 9. It was really cool learning how to run this thing, and what you can make with it is just amazing. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.